why did I become a physicist? Well, I'm, I'm actually, it, it, that's quite easy. I've always been in, incredibly curious about how the world worked. Um, the world works on, on many different levels, social, political. Uh, my interest was really on the, the physical way the world worked. And I think that's really why I chose, chose physics. But I think that is the hardest thing to do with a, with a um, when you're a, in high school, trying to pick a profession. And sometimes you can do it by visiting, sometimes, but you really have to roll up your sleeves and, and try something and see whether it's right for you. And I don't have any magic bullets for that. But what you do need to do, I think, in, in your freshman year is, is really um, delve into, into an area and see whether how, how it interests you. Um, doctor, how did Dr. Indestructo get started? Well, it, but that was, that was, uh, that was from my, my friend Stan Bayab, um, my, my, the, the fourth of my mentors. Um, and Stan and I did this, did this show, and, and we called it the Stan and Stu Show. And, and, you know, it was very tragic. Stan died, and, and, and uh, when I began doing it again, sort of in his memory, I couldn't do it as a Stan and Stu Show, and so I needed another name. And the Stu Show didn't sound good. So... <laughs> So I just need another name. Was Doctor Indestructo, and um, it's really uh, it's really a good vehicle. He comes into class on, on occasion and you know does silly things like lies down on a bed of nails or has somebody break a cinder block on his chest or or um, drinks liquid nitrogen and and so you know all the other. So I'd say Doctor Indestructo has changed my teaching. Um, he can do things that I'm scared of doing. <laughs> It's a, I don't know, use a, a fun place to be. Um, and uh, I, I've been in enough universities and enough environments to know that's not always the case. Um, and I'd say one thing here, I've been in some universities where students aren't terribly important, and I think they are here. I've been in some, some universities where, where um, it's a little more dog-eat-dog, dog. and I don't think that's the way it is for students here or for faculty here. Um, so it's a, it's a great environment, and, and yeah, it's sort of a family environment. Um, but, it's, but it's a family environment where, where um, you're sort of prodded to, to reach for goals and so on.